नेक्स्ट रेटला रेट इक्वेशन रेटला और रेट इक्वेशन So rate law, rate equation. We can write rate equation according to stoichiometric equations. So stoichiometric equations they are used in writing the rate equation or rate law. And uh, only elementary reactions they can be written according to rate equation. And it is not possible for complex reactions. Okay. So to write rate equation, it is not possible for complex reactions. So rate equation that is only for elementary reactions. Okay. And stoichiometric equations, they are used to write the rate equation or rate law. And rate law or rate equation that is purely experimentally established equation. This is very very important. This is not determined theoretically. It is not predicted theoretically. So rate law or rate equation is experimentally established equation. And it is not predicted theoretically. Okay. Then stoichiometric equations are used to write the rate equation or rate law. Stoichiometric equations. are used to write rate equation or rate law and rate equation or rate law that is possible only in elementary reactions okay so it is possible Only in elementary reactions. Okay. Elementary reactions. And for complex reactions, it does not depend upon stoichiometric equations. Okay. For complex reactions, rate equation does not depends on stoichiometric equation. Okay. So, come to what is rate law or rate equation. So, rate law or rate equation that is mathematical expression. Which shows dependence of the rate of a reaction on the concentration terms of a reactants. Okay. So, rate law, rate equation. So, that is mathematical expression. Which shows dependence of rate of a reaction on the concentration of reactants. So, mathematical expression which shows dependence of rate of a reaction on the concentration of reactants. That, that is called rate law or rate equation which is purely 
experimentally established equation. For example, if we consider Na gives products. Okay. And rate for this reaction. So you know that rate of a reaction is directly proportional to concentration to the power n. Okay. Concentration of the reactants to the power n. n is stoichiometric coefficient. This is also indicates the order of the reaction. Okay. And we can write this one as rate is equal to k into a to the power n. Okay. So this is called rate law rate equation. So what is rate law rate equation? That is a mathematical expression. So this is a mathematical expression. And it indicates the dependence of rate of a reaction on the concentration of the reactants. Okay. So here a which is present in square brackets, it indicates the concentration of reactants. And N indicates the order of the reaction. Whereas K indicates rate constant. This is also called as specific rate. Okay. So K here is rate constant. K is called rate constant or specific rate. And uh, A is reactant. N is order. Okay. N indicates the order. Okay. So, A in square bracket. That indicates concentration of reactants. Okay. So, here what is K? K is called rate constant. This is also called as specific rate. So, first let us know about what is rate constant. So, next rate constant. Next, rate constant or specific rate indicated with the K. Okay. So, rate R is equal to K into concentration of reactants to the power M. Okay. So, rate of the reaction directly proportional to concentration of the reactants. So, that is rate law. So, proportionality constant K that is called rate constant here. Okay. So, from this K is equal to R by concentration of reactants to the power N. Okay. So, here we can define rate constant or specific rate as this is rate per unit concentration of the reactants. So rate constant or specific rate, rate that is rate per, per unit concentration of the reactants. Okay. So specific rate or rate constant that is rate per Unit concentration of the reactants is called rate constant or specific rate. Okay. Then rate constant or specific rate. It is independent of concentration of reactants but it depends upon the temperature this is very very important so k which is called rate constant or specific rate it is independent of concentration but depends on temperature so, rate constant or specific rate. It depends upon temperature. But it is independent on the 
concentration okay then coming to units of rate constant units of rate constant so what is rate constant here k is equal to r by reactance to the power n what is n n is order and uh, units of rate constant depends on the order of the reaction so it depends upon n okay so units of rate constant depends on order of the reaction okay so rate constant rate per unit concentration of the reactants 